NASA, WTF did you do to piss off ET? STS-107. I want answers on this one. Dark Sky Watcher 74, November 21st, 2013. Comments disabled for this video. You don't want answers. Next. You did want people to enter in a chance for winning a Nexstar 4SE telescope by Celestron, courtesy of Dark Sky Watcher. Now, if you'd left comments open, or I'm sure you did for a while, you would have received a message from someone who figured out by the 24th you'd faked it, or that this was a fake video. Excuse me, I, I'm not implying that you faked a video to get views. Now, I'm going to point out a couple of things in your video that's still up. But anyway, we're going to go down here, and hopefully my computer will stop being an idiot for two minutes. Check out this video, and this was this year, February. So on February, someone posted here, and I'm sure they contacted you by posting it to you, that someone should look for this video by TFH, the faking hoaxer, created and directed used Photoshop CS2, After Effects 7, and Premiere Pro 2. And you notice the part of the video this is in? Yeah, it's the part that gets cut off in another version of it I've seen as well. And um, there's the watermark. And this was uploaded in 2009, and this person was informed, quote, a year ago. By the way, uh, attention YouTube. The space you took up with the word one year ago, you could put in the time and date stamp correctly so we'd know when it was done. But here's a reference to Dark Skywatcher's video. This actually lists it because it goes to RQ-V, RQ-V. So basically, the uh, artist that originally created the real faked video... Um, was told about this. So, it's been understood since pretty much the moment the video was uploaded by Dark, by Dark Sky Watcher that that had happened. And I'd like you to notice this video frame here. Shocking unreleased NASA UFO footage of Columbia before disaster. Notice these two dots here and that? Well, guess what? We're going to go look for it here. And I'm turn off the annotations because they get in the way here rather conveniently. There's the faking hoaxer just like this. This is his channel. He does CGI work. You might want to go through this and peruse this if you're looking for UFO videos because you're going to find that in a couple of videos. Several videos have it. There's one there. Um, several things. Lots of things. Good things. Some of them are actually real though, but some of, some, most of them are not, obviously. And I'd like to point out other video sections in here. This one's actually got two live videos. This is a live video, apparently a real video, has all the watermarks of it, or earmarks of it, excuse me, that points to the reentry of the debris from a space shuttle reentry that blew up. It then points and contains raw video, a quote unquote, of the actual shuttle astronauts before the breakup on reentry, and then points to whoever's narrating this is pointing to this frame here saying this is faked, no one could point a camera straight up. This is a window essentially in the ceiling of the space shuttle. And here we go again with these images again. And then, please look up how to do correct color bars because there's one version that's supposed to be used for movies and such, like most other things, so it won't get confused with the real deal. Anyway, then we get the debris field. And we get this image. What were you really doing Really doing up there, NASA? Okay, and then we get this freeze frame. And if anybody's curious, I'm going to try to back this up to where it lines up correctly. Anyway, it's from the video. Then someone took this image, and I love how they looked for this image and posted it. This has actually been doctored as well. I don't even know why they bothered doing it. Next. There's the freeze frame of all freeze frames right there. And there we see, if we can get the damn thing to cooperate, 
the tail section sec part of the video. You notice how it's cut off right here in that pattern? Now let's go back to the space shuttle destroyed. Somebody cropped it so that when it went ahead and did that, that the TFH 2009 and other information would be missing from the video. So anyway, the faking hoaxer made some really cool CGI stuff and still does. Might want to go look at it. Lots of cool stuff. You might want to consult this every time you look at a video, just in case. I'll include a link. Anyway, the video was debunked immediately because of some simple inconsistencies. But remember, just like everybody else, he's just asking questions and refusing to let you post the answers. And during this process, he has the audacity to ask people to participate in something involving a telescope. I'm going to look up that model and make, see how much it's worth. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, the Dark Sky Watcher 74 did not update the video after obviously being informed that he had been using someone else's video that had been used, uh, several videos actually, there's, there's probably more than just two from the same channel who does CGI. Oh, the investigative capabilities of this individual. Have a good day and uh, go to hell, Dark Sky Watcher.